Hi, and welcome to a lesson on air river triangle. And this is the trig base formula um, for the air river triangle. So previously, you know, um, back at say maybe key stage three or when you were younger, um, the air river triangle we can find by doing base times height divided by two. Okay, that's, there's nothing wrong with that if we've got the information. But sometimes we haven't got the information and we're given other information. We might be given um, an angle, let's say C, um, and the two sides on either side, we might know that. And if we're given that, or we can, we can deduct that from other information, um, then we can use a formula that area is half AB sine C, okay? Always works. I might never, whether you've got a, uh, a right angle triangle or a non right angle triangle. So let's go and see that in action. Um, here's a guided example. Here we go. So we've got an angle, uh, we've got two sides and they're included angle, two sides and a trapped angle, it says here. Uh, therefore, we can use this formula to work out the area of the triangle. So it's really straightforward. Um, we'll call this A, we'll call this B. Here's angle C. Okay, this would have been side C, but we're not using this. Okay, so the area is equal to half times six times seven times sine 35. So we just be really careful and make sure that our calculator is set to degrees. And we just put that in. So 0 0.5 times six times seven times sine 35 gives us an answer of 12.0. And it will be centimeters squared, if you're looking at an area, to three significant figures. That's that, okay, it's as easy as that. So remember, it's always the two sides and the included angle or the trapped angle between the two. Let's look at this example then. Um, in this question, we've actually been given all three sides. So we've got to work out for ourselves which ones are relevant. So A equals AB sine C. No, no, no. Forgotten something there, half AB sine C. Let's be careful. Um, and remember, it's the two sides of the trapped angle. So we're not interested in this one, actually, in this question. The area is half AB sine C. So it's half times 12 times eight times sine 31. Um, let's put that very carefully into the calculator once more. So you get an answer of 24.7. And we're in centimeters again, so centimeters squared for the area to three significant figures. Okay. Straightforward. Okay, exam question then. It's a bit more involved. A farmer paces around her quadrilateral field to find the lengths of each side. She also measures the angles at opposite sides. Use the measurements to find the area of the field. Okay, so we're looking at this. The title of this lesson is the area of a triangle using trig. We have some angles there. Um, there's no triangles though, but, but we can actually create some triangles by drawing a line. So it's just one of two questions in one. Um, there we go. Now we have two triangles and therefore I can use what I know. So area is half AB sine C. The more we write it out, the more we remember it. And so in this case, we've got the area, the whole thing is gonna be half, first of all, 80 times 80, Oops. sine 71. Plus, for this triangle, um, half 70 times 50 sine 80. Okay? Be super careful putting those things into our calculator one at a time. <clears throat> let's be careful. Okay, so we've got uh, let's, uh, do, 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 times uh, sine 71 for the first one plus another uh, 50 times sine 80. Okay, I think I've got it. So I've got an answer of 4749.073. Uh, and that I think if I, you know, three significant figures is fine. Um, so it's the measurements and it's meters squared then in that case, because all these lengths are in meters, so it's meters squared for the area. Great, okay, next one, the last one. He might get a back to front question given. So in this question, we're actually given the area, and it's our job to find the side length A. So 
here the area again is the half a b sine c now i know the area in this one so i'm going to start to substitute some of the values i've been given into the formula so i've got 25 equals half uh what is it times 10 times a the thing i'm trying to find sine 28 okay um you know what i'm just going to try and simplify half of 10 is 5 so it's 5a sine 28 um remember that this is just all a product so this is just a times by 5 sine 28 isn't it if i just rearrange it just change the order in which things are multiplied doesn't make any difference to the value and then so now i can say that a would be equal to 25 divided by 5 sine 28 and that's all i need to put into my calculator really carefully using brackets for the bottom bit so 25 divided by 5 sine 28 and i get an answer of 10.7 10.7 centimeters and it looks okay it doesn't look wildly out there does it i mean it looks like it's a sensible possible answer and it is the correct answer i've done my work incorrectly so i really hope that that's helpful and um, good luck with your future work on this topic. And don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends about my channel.